Now they're begging me to take it up. Now, I'm a huge fan of all Mediterranean and Middle Eastern culture, but it seems like there's one food they all have in common, and that's the crispy falafel. We're making falafels. Yes, falafel. Falafels. Yes, falafel. The king of falafel inspired us to attempt to make the greatest falafel dish ever, the falafel slider. First, we're gonna make the falafel mix. If you don't want disintegrating falafel, all you have to do is get the dried chickpeas, not the canned chickpeas. Put them in a jar. Don't add it too high. Fill it up with water, and then you gotta let that sit overnight. You believe that? It goes from this to that? Look at the magic of expansion. We're gonna drain them, all right? Will you pour those into the food processor? We're gonna add a few ingredients to the falafel to spice it up. Red, 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 red onion, some garlic. I'm gonna get this parsley. Some, some lemon juice. Salt, pepper. It's blending, we're gonna add oil, all right? Important step. Add the oil, that's gonna really bring it together. All right, and that is the falafel mixture. We're moving on. Now we shape those patties. This is a little cool technique. What we're gonna do is take some falafel. We're gonna we put or that... you? Looks like you're gonna do it. <laughs> I'm I don't gonna get to do it. Yes. I stand here with my nut scratcher. And just... <laughs> That's all you're good nut for. Scratcher. You're a nut scratcher. And then I got some feta cheese. And we're gonna slip that inside Always the falafel stuff in. and then cover it with more falafel mixture. Josh, check this out. Have you ever seen anything like this? Zing, bada, boom. Ooh. And we shallow fry at medium high in canola oil, just like the king said. Do you see the crispiness on this, Josh? Oh my god, I'm aware of the, Oh, crispy. They look just right, like falafel go, sliders though? stuffed with feta. Yeah, there's a secret surprise on the inside. Wow. Let's pickle some radish. Add that crunch. You can't deny the radish. You're going to make me a pickling mixture. You take a little bit of sugar, some salt, white vinegar, and just a little bit of water. Josh is just going to throw that into the microwave. Pickling mixture went in for a minute. Now this is warm. What we're going to do is just add the radish. So it's like a super quick infusion on the pickling mixture, right? Cap that and just put that in the fridge. That's going to last like, that could last a few weeks. This is disgusting. That is disgusting. Get rid of it. <laughs> for the spread, some tasty baba ganoush. Very popular dish is the baba ganoush. All you have to do is pop some holes right into the eggplant, <laughs> wrap it in two sheets of tin foil, and throw it on the grill for like 30 minutes. How easy is that? Wow. So right now it looks kind of like a big turd. A but big turd, but promise. when you cut into it, it's going to be glorious. There it goes. Oh my god. The skin should peel right off. We're going to throw that in the food processor. Usually with baba ganoush and hummus, you add tahini paste. Not many people have that, but you can use peanut butter and sesame oil and chili paste. Add a little lemon to that, and then salt and pepper. And then blend that up, my friend. Oh! Watch how creamy this is about to get. A little mm. more salt, maybe? It's good, but it could use just a little more a salt. A little more salt. Here's a quick trick to make flatbread buns. Huh? What do you know about the flatbread? They're so freaking versatile. Yeah. Oh my god. So They're you're gonna awesome. use that for the bun? It's just a little ring mold. If you don't have one of these, you can use a mug and a knife. All you need to really bring these to another level is oil and a little bit of salt. Now it's time to build these bad boys. We're going to start with the baba ganoush we made. Pickles. The falafel going on top. And then, of course, you can't forget the little salsa. We got tomato, we got cucumber, and we got parsley. You got a little freshness just to top it off. The glorious white sauce. The easiest part of the whole dish. You take a little mayo, you take some parsley. Salt, pepper, a little vinegar. Even if you just made the white sauce, you'll be in for a surprise yes. because you can put it on everything. <laughs> Pretty much everything. We got the falafel slider. All of these elements, delicious on their own. You can make a sandwich. We decided to make a little slider. Wow, 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 wow. 
Cheers. Cheers. I'll to, give it to you. To the new king of falafel. Mm. Mm. I would say the falafel king would be proud. It's up there with the king.